Hi, welcome to the Twin Cities Skinny, brought to you by the Minneapolis Area Association of Realtors, where we dig into the most recent numbers from our market. Even as hopes of a phased June reopening all but faded, real estate activity continued to strengthen. After double-digit year-over-year declines in signed contracts for April and May, that pent-up demand was unleashed in June. In the Twin Cities, June showing activity surpassed 2019 levels, while June pending sales reached their highest levels since 2004. The fact that demand is recovering faster than supply should mean stable pricing for most areas and market segments. Pending sales increased 6.2% from June 2020 to 6,819 for the month. Closed sales decreased 8.8% from June 2019 to 6,118 for the month. The decrease in closed sales can be attributed to the statewide shelter-in-place initiative. Stronger pending sales show that buyer interest remains in the market. Prices were up compared to last year at this time. The median sales price increased 5.2% to $305,000. Prices are not likely to decrease at all this summer, as more and more consumers begin to show an interest in buying a home. Inventory levels market-wide decreased 29.8% to 9,154 units. We will continue to watch and wait for inventory to increase. It could be a long wait. Month's supply of inventory was down 33.3% to 1.8 months. At some point, the housing supply trend will change direction but that will not happen anytime soon. Percent of original list price received at sale declined slightly to 99.6% since last year. With fewer homes for sale than a year ago and lingering health concerns, sellers will struggle to fuel the growing demand. Record low 30-year fixed mortgage rates around 3.1% have further motivated buyers. Without the obstacles of contingencies and occupancy, new construction listings have fared better. Until sellers regain confidence and the market can generate more supply, Housing inventory will remain constrained. That's the Twin Cities Skinny for this month. Check back next month for the latest.